Right now I'm dealing with um, my mom's health has taken a turn. And I'm sorry, I'm sorry to hear that. Yeah, I feel you. Is that recent? Yeah. Oh, honey. Sorry. No, let it be real. I didn't know it was going to come up. But mm -hmm. for the last two and a half years, I've studied all of this so hard, energy mm -hmm. and everything. And so I struggle with, I, you know, you get punched in the face. I was saying earlier, you're going to have a reaction. It hurts. Mm -hmm. And then you pick yourself up and you dust yourself off and you keep moving mm -hmm. forward. And so I keep doing that every time I keep getting hit. But how do you handle applying everything that you've learned without feeling like you could also just be in denial or yeah. being fruity and not yeah. and and naive to the situation? Yeah. Like and also you know, not putting into words, you know, ha there's so many questions I have for you, but like, yeah. um, when something's critical, but you don't want to voice it mm. because you don't want to bring more energy. Like no, that I'm in. so understanding what you're saying. And I really, really am glad that right now where you're at, you're bringing this up so that we can, we can maybe redirect the ship a little bit because so there's two things happening. One, Part of what you're doing is excellent, which is that you're not getting into the hole of the of the of the depression of a sadness or 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 the fear or you know you're not letting that get party, momentum all right of that yeah right you're you're like okay i'm gonna I'm gonna bring my best belief system to this, which yeah. is excellent and solutions, not just wallowing Cre in the cre sadness correct creating seeking solutions rather than problems yeah you're excellent that's perfect, but there's a big but. If you don't have the, the resources and the tools to process the traumatic experience when it happens, because getting news about your mom being ill is really a traumatic experience, and, or, or the news about your tumor, or the many, the many things along the way. And some of them could be as simple as like losing a job or, you know, not, not, not life-threatening, okay? So there's been trauma along the way. And if you don't have the tools or the resources to sort of a, to address that root cause condition in the moment, it won't go away. And so while you're showing up being this beautiful, bright energy and just doing your, your spiritual part of choosing to see things through a positive lens, you're, you're still carrying the energetic disturbance. Mm -hmm. So you may have a really good day and then all of a sudden we're talking about your mom and it's like, boom, you know, and that's, that's natural anyway. So let's not really use that as an example. That's a beautiful, natural human response. But, uh, but my hope for you would be to sort of, uh, Get the guidance and support, whether it be through EMDR, or emotional freedom technique, which is another great one, tapping. I could do this with you if you never want to tap, we'll tap. Yeah. And, uh, or even therapeutic guidance that would be sort of a foundation for you so that when these moments come up, you have that tool to turn to. And that was the case, that was the case with my postpartum. So I believe that the only reason I survived that was because I had the foundation. So a spiritual foundation a therapeutic foundation and a willingness to go to the, to the darkest place I've ever had to go, right? And, and I think that's probably the hardest thing that anyone could possibly be willing to do is to go to the places that scare us. Mm -hmm. But it's the way to find freedom. It's the way out. It's the way out. 